Hello, beautiful human. Thank you so much for being here. If we haven't met yet, I am Freddie. Uh, welcome to Flow with Freddie. We're gonna get started today standing at the top of the mat. So this is just a short feel-good flow. You can use this at any time of day when you just, you know, want a little something something. Now it is wasp season here in Western PA, so we are going to be moving and coexisting with them. This is going to be um, a nice little game of trust. <laughs> so ground into the present moment, whatever that looks like to you. Maybe you are dealing with similar circumstances. Uh, maybe you have little kiddos running around. Awesome. Invite them to join, yeah? And then let's get started. Close your eyes, stand up nice and tall. And imagine you had weights, like just little weights uh, on your fingertips. And that is adding a little extra weight into the elbows, which in turn pulls the shoulders down away from the ears just a little bit. Lift your toes and begin to shift your weight front and back. If you are outside like me, this may be a little bit more difficult. Again, a game of trust. Hmm. So this is going to be a reoccurring theme throughout this practice, trust. Trust yourself, trust me, trust the sequence that we have uh, planned and trust that it is exactly what you need in this moment. With your eyes closed, begin to focus on your breath and if you want, set an intention for your practice. I trust, dot, dot, dot. And then let's breathe together, inhale in, feel the lungs expand, the ribs widen. Maybe you stand up a little taller. And exhale with the lips sealed, let the air out through the nose. Two more like that and then we'll get moving. Big inhale in, just ground your energy, ground into your affirmation, ground into your practice, ground into trust. And exhale, soften your shoulders a little bit more, ground down through the heels. Your toes are still lifted like mine. Go ahead and lower them. <laughs> and one more big breath in on your own. And exhale to let it all go. And let's move. Find a soft bend in the knees. Inhale, float the fingertips up. Maybe you take your gaze up as well. Open your eyelids. Exhale, bend the elbows. Leading with your heart, bend your knees as well. Forward fold. Like a wave, inhale, lift halfway. Crown of the head reaches forward, tailbone reaches back. Those words almost came together. <laughs> and exhale, fold. Press into the feet, inhale, reach for the sky, get nice and tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, just like that, inhale, circle, sweep, reach the fingertips high. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift your version. Hands can be at the top of your thighs, maybe your shins. Find what feels good and exhale to fold. Ground down to rise up. Inhale, big breath, big stretch. Exhale, hands to heart. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, rise. Lengthen, crown forward, tailbone back. Exhale, fold. Pause here. Bring your fingertips down. Step the left heel out towards the left side of the yoga mat, heel and toes out. Right foot towards the right, same positioning. Bend the knees, lower your hips down, yogi squat. If it feels better to lift your heels up, please do so. Yes, listen to your body. And actually for me, this even feels better this morning. So know that every day will be different and trust that every day is exactly what you need. The practice, <laughs> the practice uh, suits us best when we make it our own, you know? 
Whew, awesome. I'm already feeling zenned out, so <laughs> there's that. All right, and then if you are finding wiggles like me, awesome. Begin to find stillness. Again, my heels are a little bit lifted. That feels best. Press your elbows into your thighs, thighs into your elbows. Maybe that lifts you up a little bit more even. Crown magnetizes up towards the sky, the crown of your head, yeah? Beautiful, big inhale in. And exhale out, sink down, release that. Fingertips come down, listen carefully. Right foot is gonna stay where it is. Send the left leg back behind, lower the knee. You can come onto the top of the back foot or if you wanna keep the toes curled under, that's Yogi's choice. And come up onto the fingertips. You can wiggle here also. Don't worry about the knee uh, entirely, but if you want to, you can kind of send that foot forward and maybe over a little bit more. We're just going for a little hip opener here, a little lizard. And then if you want to, this is just an offering. I like to bring my palms down, claw into the earth. So find that activation, really press down through the index knuckle mound, the thumb mound. So sometimes we have a tendency to press the weight into the outer edges of the hand. Let's always remember to firmly root down through the entire palm. And you can do that by clawing. So find that little clawing activation and then dip your chin towards your chest. I like to come onto the top of my foot here and I can really feel this in the front of my left hip crease. So my psoas, essentially, I can really feel that there. Ooh, again, feel free to wiggle. Awesome. Big inhale in wherever you are. And a long exhale out. Trust the process. Trust each and every pose and what it has to offer you. And then when you're ready, Curl the back toes under, lift the back knee. We're gonna walk it all the way towards the back side of the mat. Oh yeah, I should have said, my bad. Um, actually, I'll add it in the beginning of this video, Never mind. But if you missed it, um, you may wanna have the camera set up on one of the long sides of the mat so that uh, front and back doesn't really matter for this practice. Lower the back knee down. Same thing that we just did. Come on to the top of the back foot or not. Readjust the left foot or not. Find some wiggles or not. <laughs> Make the practice yours, embrace your essence. It's only wrong if you're not listening to you. It's only wrong if you're mimicking somebody else's experience. And if you're a total beginner, I understand. That's why I like to throw so many options out there so you can actually explore it on your own. Because on YouTube, you never know who you're talking to, right? Do you hear the birds? I love it so much. Okay, and then if you want to find that clawing activation uh, in the hands, really root down into the index knuckle mounds, the thumb, the inner edges of both hands, and then dip your chin. I like to press into the top of my back foot, and I wiggle. <laughs> and we manifested the sunshine. Oh my gosh, speaking of the sun, it is springtime here in Western PA, and I definitely have seasonal allergies, so everything is in bloom. Oh my gosh, there's actually finally little leaves on those trees. That's the first day I noticed them. They're big enough to see now. Little babies, they've been buds. Awesome. Okay, inhale in. Exhale out. One more, just in case that wasn't super intentional. Big breath in, close your eyes. And exhale out. Awesome. Maybe you come up onto your fingertips. Curl the back toes under, lift the back knee. Find a little movement here if uh, that feels good before you bend through the back knee. And if you need to step your foot forward a few times, cool. We're bringing it to the outer edge of the yoga mat, finding that Malasana Yogi squat once again here, facing the back side of the mat this time. And if you're not, it doesn't matter, right? But in my classes, we get a little bit creative sometimes. The front of the back becomes, the, or the front of the mat becomes the back of the mat and vice versa. Okay. Left elbow stays inside of the left thigh. Cactus arm the right wing, open up. Maybe you extend your fingertips, inhale. Exhale, bring it back towards center to switch. Right elbow inside of right leg. Cactus arm your left wing, inhale. Maybe you extend. And exhale, bring it in. Once more to each side, move at your own pace. Close your eyes so you can really feel into it. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, we'll meet at center, Malasana pose. And then slowly lower your bum down. 
That was graceful, cool if not cool. Shins lift parallel towards the sky. Toes are forward, yeah? Fingertips can be down on the ground, absolutely. We're gonna find some low bows. If you want to, palms face up, reach the fingertips forward, gaze is up, find length in the spine, so lift your heart up towards the sky, inhale. Exhale, low boat, send the toes forward, lower your heart down, hover. Use your core activation. Shh. Exhale to contract and lift. Ooh, this is really funky if you're outside on like a rocky spot like me. Inhale to lower, activating the core. Exhale, shh, lift. Oh my gosh, that hurts my butt. One more, inhale. Exhale, lift, shh, pause. Cross the left ankle over the right, bring the toes down. Hands go over towards the right. Bring them back behind you, lift your booty up, uncross, downward facing dog, unraveled as you unravel. <laughs> and then pedal it out here, my friends. Inverted V shape. Breathe like you love yourself, you're doing great. Mmm, I love this so much. Ah, <sighs> and then when you're ready, bend the knees. Ripple yourself forward, plank pose, inhale. Exhale, lower the knees, chest, chin, hug the elbows in as you bend them. And then slither down, lower the hips, lower the toes. Lift your heart just a little bit, inhale. Press your pubic bone down. And exhale to lower. Press up tabletop pose. Curl the toes under, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, bend the knee. Bring it up and over, tap the right tricep. Claw into the earth. Inhale, send it back, three-legged dog, you got it. Exhale, bend the knee, bring it up through center, pause. Create space to plant the foot. If you gotta help yourself out there, do it, my friends. It's all good. Lower the back knee. Plant the left palm. Inhale, open up towards the right. And exhale, stay here. One more inhale, maybe you lift the back knee. And exhale out. Bring the right arm down inside of the right leg. Lift your hips up, walk it towards the back. Plant your right palm, lower the back knee, right fingertips, or left fingertips, sorry, go forward, up and back. Maybe you tap your toes, inhale. Exhale to release. Bring it all the way back forward, right back to where we started. Inhale and open towards the right, you got it. And exhale, lower the back knee down. Reverse it, send the hips back as you straighten through the right leg and bring your heart down towards the ground, squaring through the shoulders once again. Inhale and ripple through the spine, crown goes forward, lift your gaze. And exhale to bow. <sighs> left fingertips go over towards the left side of the yoga mat. Maybe they come off. Extend the right leg out towards the right. Right arm reaches as well, big breath in. We're reaching the fingertips away from the toes, bicep by the ear. And then exhale, right foot comes down, so we're in this triangle shape. Activate your center, find this buoyancy in your left arm. Find the root in your right foot, yeah? And then when you're ready, lift up. I hope that tripod does not fall. <laughs> right arm towards right leg, left arm up and over, big inhale in. Then exhale, release. Left hand comes down, inhale and expand just to exhale. Bring it in, bend the right knee, comes down to the earth, kneeling. Yay, downward facing dog. Right away, inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, bend the knee, bring it up and over, tap the left tricep, claw into the earth, find that grip. Inhale, send it back, activate through your left toes, create a full body experience. Exhale, bring the knee in, Shh, center, create space to plant the foot. Ah, Awesome, lower the back knee down. Inhale, reach the left fingertips up high, easy twist. Nice little love on the spine. Claw into the bottom hand, yeah? Right hand is under the shoulder. I need to move mine forward a bit. If it's forward, that's awesome. We, if it's back a little bit, it may be uncomfortable. And then maybe you lift the back knee, inhale. Exhale, shh, left arm comes inside the front leg. We're gonna pivot all the way towards the back, just like we did. Plant the left palm, lower the left knee. Right fingertips reach forward, up and back. Maybe you tap your toes back behind. And then release. Lift the left knee. Take it all the way back forward. Inhale and open towards the left. You got it. Exhale. Lower the right knee down. Straighten through the left leg as you bring your heart 
down towards center, square through the shoulders, flex your left foot. Inhale and ripple forward. Think about a wave here. And exhale, trust it as it caresses, bow. Beautiful, right fingertips come over, off of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, extend. Left foot goes towards the left. Reach the left fingertips away, bicep by the ear. And then the left foot comes down. Activate through center. Find that buoyancy in the right arm, yeah? And then lift yourself up, gate pose. And if that lift is like, what? Maybe you work towards that. You can absolutely come down and then come over, right? Just, you know, nuance. Allow your body to experience however it wants to. Inhale in. Exhale, rise up. Should have said that on the first side, sorry. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale to bring it in, kneeling. Pause. Take a moment, bring your palms together at your heart. Inhale, lift your crown. And exhale, twist towards the left. There's a wasp, oh my gosh. Trust, right? Fucking trust. Oh. <laughs> There's kids on there, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to silence that out. Inhale in. Exhale, final time. Inhale, reach for the sky, come back to center. Exhale towards the right. Your right fingertips can be anywhere. They can be on your back. They can be floating behind. Toes can be curled under or not. AKA there's no right or wrong, right? However you land it is perfect. Inhale and lift one more time, reach. And exhale out. Inhale, come back to center, palms kiss. Exhale, bring the magic right down to your heart. Dip your chin, bow your head. And this is where I'm going to leave my YouTube friends. Vimeo, we are going to continue on for one more flow. Okay, so YouTube fam, trust your gut, trust your intuition, trust yourself. You are your own greatest teacher. Practice that muscle, that trust muscle, okay? I love you, I believe in you. Your practice always has your back. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, subscribe, do all those things. Share this video with a friend or a family member, anybody that you think is open-minded enough to give it a try and that can benefit from it. Thank you so much, inhale. And exhale, we bow. Namaste.